Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use your automatic gearbox in your VW TUR car. There it is. The gearbox changes the forward gears up and down automatically. This is awesome, isn't it? Here you can see the details of the central console. It is a selector lever with in to a lock button on the left side and you can see the different um, programs to get forward that means on the top side it is a p then it comes with an r an n and a an d that means p is for park position d is for drive r is for reverse mode and D is for drive, as I told you, and S is for sports. That means you can have more power by using the sports mode. And of course, you have a different thing. That means you can shift by yourself in the Tiptronic system. This is awesome mode. I like it very much. Then you can shift up and down the gears as you want. That is not the efficiency way, but you can have more control over your vehicle. This is awesome. I like all of this stuff. What are you going to do with your automatic gearbox? Wow, and the interlock button is a good thing um, that you know not have to change the um, the not right um, gear positions. This is a good and easy to learn system to drive your car with only two pedals. That means there is an acceleration pedal on the right, right side at your feet and in the center there is a brake pedal. No clutch is necessary because you have an automatic gearbox. The S-Tronic, that means the vehicle is equipped with an electronically controlled dual clutch gear gearbox. It is a 5 um, S-Tronic gearbox. Talk between the engine and the gearbox is transmitted via two independent clutches. The gearbox shifts up or down automatically and is controlled electronically. Dynamic shift program or dynamic gear control program. The most should have a shift program is continuously selected according to your driving style. And here you can see on the left side it is a mm, stop or parking brake position. On the right side it is an acceleration. That means if you push this pedal you will get power and you will unleash the power of your engine. When you drive in the automatic gearbox it is the, the, mm, the better way to save money because it is um, the economy today, okay? But if you go and shift yourself or kick down the paddle on the right side, you will give, or the engine will give you all the power what's inside your engine. You can have a big and large engine and you can have a small block, for example. So let's start the engine. You only can start the engine if you are pushing the lever with the parking brake um, or the parking, the stop or brake paddle, of course, in the center. And then uh, after you pushed your foot down to the lever, to the stop lever, to the brake lever, then you can start the engine. Not um, before here you can see I'm pushing the lever down and now I'm able to get out of the parking lock but you have to do is you have to push the button on the left side and then you unlocked your automatic gearbox so now you can shift by pulling this uh, automatic gearbox control unique to the reverse gear. Now you can see in the center it is now R, reverse gear. The reverse gear should only be engaged when the vehicle is stationary and the engine is idling. 
to move the selector level to position R, press in the left side, the button, and then at the same time, press the brake pedal, of course. The horizon light comes on when the selector level is in R position with the ignition on. And then you are able to drive backward. This is your backward thing. Here it is. Let's go. Push a little bit and then we can drive backward. I release the brake pedal and now we are set it to yeah, the parking brake is on of course so release the parking brake by pushing it down and then we are able to get mm, to move but now what it is we push uh, no we pull to n and n means neutral in this position gilbert is in neutral position that means um, there's no transmission. There's not anything to do. You cannot drive. You only can have a chill out now. And then you can push parking brake, the electronic parking brake, by pushing it down. And then your vehicle is locked. This is important because if you leave your car as um, the engine is running and you are only neutral and you are in a, a little mountain, the engine or the car will, will run a little bit down. That means every time you will leave your car with, uh, while well, the engine is running, push the parking brake. This is important. So here you can see, let's go backward by the reverse gear or frontward by the drive or sports position. There it is you have more position to choose that means now we can go to drive position depending on the selector level position the gibberts can be operated in either the standard drive mode d or in the sport mode there you can see heads up display d that means drive you can drive forward and to select the sport mode briefly pull the selector level back the gearbox will switch back to drive mode D if you pull the selector lever again. But now let's have a look about the drive. D. D is a normal way to get your car, uh, to drive your car in automatic gearbox. So let's release the brake pedal. And as you can see, now we are getting forward by using the drive mode. Here is the D mode and that if you're releasing the park brake or the, um, the level for stopping the car for braking you are able to get forward and if you like to drive faster you have to accelerate a little bit on the right paddle push this down and you're able to drive and you can see everything is automatic the gears are switching automatically, easy as you can see. So, let's have a stop. Now we're pushing the brake, then go to N. And if you like to change to uh, from N to R, you have pushed the lock button again to get in the reverse gear. Now it's the same like you can drive forward now you're able to drive backward mm, but not so fast like forward okay so let's go backward release the brake pedal and you do not have to get the acceleration um, lever to start but if you like to go faster you have to push the acceleration pedal then you will go faster backward but every time you have to look and have a, a scan with your eyes around. That it is easy going, as you can see. There's the same, you can drive as you like. And if you like to stop, you have to push the brake pedal until you stop the vehicle. The reverse gear is to move the selector level to position R, press in the interlock button and at the same time press the brake pedal. This is important, don't forget it. And if you are pushing that, then you can switch to the reverse gear. So here it is, R for reverse. So what's next? 
Let's have a look what's next. Hmm, let's go to push the lock and then go to uh no it's locked as you can see here you can't see you cannot um lock it and don't move it now we're in poor park position if you push the uh, lock and slide it forward we are in park position now you can um start or stop your engine but before we stop you should be uh, push the parking electronic parking brake first and then we are able to leave the car this is easy because you do not if you do not lock the car by the parking brake this this little plug here that means it is like the gear is in as a manual transmission car and that means you can your car will go a little bit like five centimeters forward or backward if you stop the engine. That means every time you will leave your car, go to parking lock. And the second thing is push the electronic park button. And then you can lock the arm, um, the ignition key, lock the key, lock everything and leave the car this is important but there's more i would show you this is the s mode that means it is a drive or um, mode plus that is a sport and the drive mode is the gearbox automatically selects the best gear ratio this patterns on the engine load the road speed and the driving style and if you like to go to the sports mode, if you wish to take full advantage of the car's performance, this second makes use of the engine's maximum power output when the acceleration, the gear shift may be noticeable. And that means if you go to S, you will be faster, you will get the full performance. And then it is possible in the D mode to get in the Tiptronic. This is easy and this is awesome. At the Tiptronic you have to go to the right side with the um, thing. And then you can shift gears manually. By pushing forward you will shift the gears up. If you pull the lever the engine will go down until gear 1. This is awesome, as you can see. That means you have at the D two options. The first option is the standard drive mode, and the second option is the Tiptronic. You can choose by yourself what you're going to use. Um, if you have the Tiptronic, it is a little bit faster. And if you have a car with Tiptronic behind your steering wheel, this is awesome too. Then you can make a little burnout as you like. And if you like to stop this, push the lever back on the left side and you're back in the automatic gearbox setting. This is awesome, isn't it? You can see now we are Tiptronic setup. Now we are automatic gearbox setup. Yes. And of course, the sport mode is a faster mode, but the fastest is the Tiptronic because you can choose by your own, your gear, what you like to have. And you only come in the, sp in the sport mode with unlock it and then go to the sport mode. And there is S. S means sport. Sport, you will get the full acceleration, the full performance out of your car. Whew, this is it. Automatic gearbox control on your we WT1. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe me and give me positive feedback. And see you next time again. Soon soon.